In our other videos, we have ranked films that are generally dominated by men or by their plans. And to be honest, we are pretty bored watching men fight with each other. That's why the Film Gossips has made a list comprising the top 5 films. But this time, there is a slight difference because you will watch some badass women taking their revenge in these films. After all, never hurt a woman, especially if she knows how to wield a sword and had some extraordinary powers. So that being said, let's hop into this video. At number 5, we got Revenge. The first entry in today's list is this film, filled with hardcore action, released in 2017. This French action film is directed by Karali Fargate. Its story follows a young woman named Jen. As Jen happens to be on a trip with her wealthy boyfriend, Richard, they are joined by his two friends. They plan to spend their vacation in a secluded home in the middle of a desert. But not everything goes as planned because Jen is assaulted and beat up by three men. But little did they know as she comes back to haunt them down. It features Matilda Lutz, Kevin Jensen and Vincent Colomb in the lead roles. Revenge was well received by the critics who praised its storyline, action sequence and performance of Matilda Lutz. It was also a box office success and earned more than its budget. If you are seeking a film where a female has her revenge in the most satisfying way, then we get you started with this French action movie. At number 4, we got I Spit on Your Grave franchise. The next entry on this list is quite controversial and the subject of discussion among film critics. Written and directed by Mayor Zarki, the original movie was released in 1978. Starring Camille Keaton in the lead role, this film is famous for its gruesome violent content. The film follows a young fiction writer, Jennifer Hills, who resides in a remote area. Her life gets destroyed by four local men who brutally assaulted her and left her to die. But an alive Jennifer comes back and takes her revenge in the most shocking ways you can ever imagine. Upon its release, this revenge film became a major controversy around the globe. It was even banned in many European countries for its graphical violent scenes. But after re-evaluation, the film was given a cult classic status. Some critics even called it one of the worst films ever made. But despite this negative response, it gained a large audience and this success spawned a whole new franchise of the same name. Its three sequels have been released since today and whenever someone asks for a female revenge movie, this series is a textbook example to that. Take off your clothes. I don't like women giving me orders. You feel this? Oh yeah, that's fantastic. No. <gasps> what do you want? <laughs> At number 3, we got Lady Vengeance. Korean cinema has its own perks when it came to vengeance. That's why we are including this Korean thrill film on our list. Being a part of a series, it is the last and third installment in the Vengeance trilogy. Written and directed by one of the most acclaimed Korean directors, Park Chan Wook, it stars Lee Young and Choi Min Suk in the lead roles. Its story is based on a female character who was wrongly accused of murder. After serving 13 years in prison, she gets out and starts to hunt the man who framed her for the murder. Lady Vengeance was well received by the critics and the public. Made with a production budget of $4.5 million, it crossed over $23.5 million. Critics praised the direction, screenplay and performance of the main cast. At number 2, we got Promising Young Woman. 
Famous for its black comedy and dark theme, this film is the latest addition to the list of female revenge movies. Written and directed by Emerald Fennell, it stars Carrie Mulligan in the lead role. Its premise is based on the life of a young girl, Casey Thomas. She seems to be an ordinary girl, but in reality, she is plotting to plan to take her revenge against those who wronged her bestie. Alongside Carrie, Bo Burnham, Alison Bry, and Connie Britton are in supporting roles. Upon its release, it became an instant critical hit. The film critics praised the direction, story, and cinematography of this film. Carrie Mulligan acting was critically acclaimed and she earned an Oscar nomination for her performance. The film also received many accolades and won an Oscar for Best Screenplay. What are you going to do? Gentlemen. Hey, I said, what are you doing? And every week, a nice guy comes over to see if I'm okay. You okay? Why do you guys have to ruin everything? At number one, we got Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. The number one pick for today's list is Kill Bill movies, which are arguably the best films based on female revenge. Directed by Oscar winner Quentin Trentino, both these films are also written by him. Starring Uma Thurman in the title role of The Bride, this story follows a former assassin who embarks on a journey to have her revenge against her former teammates. David Cardine, Michael Madison, and Lucy Liu are cast in the supporting characters. The first part was released in 2003, and after one year, the second and the last part was released in cinemas. Both films were the major critical and commercial success. Made with a collective budget of $60 million, these films crossed over $333 million at the box office. It gained positive reviews for its action sequence, storyline, and direction of Trantino. So which film is your favorite one from the list? And which movie should have been included in this list? Share your opinion with us in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then support us by subscribing to our channel, The Film Gossips, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications.